Single sign-on, or SSO, is an authentication method that enables users to sign into various softwares and systems with just a single ID and password. SSO allows IT departments to administrate a single identity that can access many machines and cloud services. Login for SSO is seamless, where a user once logs into their primary directory, as soon as they utilize the software they are presented with a login screen. Service Directory is a new managed solution to help you publish, discover, and connect services in a consistent and reliable way, regardless of the environment and platform in which they are deployed. It provides real-time information about all your services in a single place, allowing you to perform service inventory management at scale, whether you have a few service endpoints or thousands. Some of the features for Service Directory are as follows. A managed solution. Service Directory is a managed service that enhances service inventory management at scale so you don't have to, helping to reduce the complexity of lifecycle operations. There is no need to run additional software. With Service Directory, you get a highly consistent naming system that scales with your needs without having to run any extra software. Cloud Logging You can view audit logs and all request and response logs through cloud logging. You have rich permission capabilities, which ensure that only the correct teams have the ability to update or look up service information. This ensures that your service developers do not have to worry about accidentally impacting other service teams. Here are some of the most well-known services. Domain Name Service. This is the directory service for the internet. Microsoft Active Directory, or Azure Active Directory. Apache Directory Server. Oracle Internet Directory, Open LDAP, Cloud Identity, and Jump Cloud. Cloud Identity Cloud Identity is a unified solution for your business's identity needs. It protects company data using the Beyond Core security model and Google Threat Intelligence signals. Cloud Identity gives people simple, one-click access to the applications they need so they can work from anywhere on any device. This means employees can focus on their work while administrators can manage identities, associated apps, and devices at scale from one integrated console as people join, move within, and leave an organization. Let's look at some of the features provided by Cloud Identity. It gives the users easy access to applications with single sign-on. There is multi-factor authentication that protects user and company data. You can improve your company's device security using a unified console with the help of endpoint management. You can enforce security policy, clean company data, deploy apps, and so much more. In Windows 2000, Microsoft introduced Active Directory domain services to enable businesses to manage multiple on-premises infrastructure elements and systems with a single user identity. Here's an architectural diagram. You have your enterprise, which is the forest here, and these are made up of domains. A domain is a means to host these different directory services. It is also the means to which people authorize to your directory. You can think of these domains as actual servers and you're going to have to have redundant ones, which are the child domains. Because if the main one goes down, you want to make sure you can still log in and do their business and you might want domains that are closer to the region to which they are authenticating. When we look inside of a domain, it doesn't matter if it's the child or domain, we have organizational units and these are just ways of structuring things like departments and with an organizational unit, we have objects. Objects being groups, printer servers, things like that. Managed service for Microsoft Active Directory is an Active Directory hosted on the Google Cloud Platform. The features of the service are that it is compatible with AD dependent apps. So it runs real Microsoft AD domain controllers, uses standard Active Directory features, for example, group policies, remote server administration tools, and so on. It is virtually maintenance-free, and it is highly available, automatically patched, configured with secure defaults, and protected by the appropriate network firewall rules. It has seamless multi-region deployment. You can simply expand the service to additional regions while continuing to use the same managed Active Directory domain. It has hybrid identity support, so you can connect your on-premises Active Directory domain to Google Cloud and deploy a standalone domain for your cloud-based workloads. 
A system entity known as an identity provider develops, manages, and controls identity information for principals and offers authentication services to applications running on federated or distributed networks. A dependable supplier of your user identification who enables you to access other services using authentication. Facebook, Amazon, Google, Twitter, GitHub, and LinkedIn are some examples of identity providers. Single Sign-On or SSO is an authentication method that enables users to sign into various softwares and systems with just a single ID and password. SSO allows IT departments to administrate a single identity that can access many machines and cloud services. Login for SSO is seamless. Where a user once logs into their primary directory, as soon as they utilize the software, they are presented with a login screen. An open vendor neutral application protocol called Lightweight Directory Access Protocol or LDAP is used to access and maintain distributed directory information services over an IP network. LDAP is frequently used to facilitate the same sign on by giving users a central location to store their usernames and passwords. Users can use a same ID and password using same sign on, but they must enter it each time they wish to log in. So you have an on-prem Active Directory server and it's going to synchronize with LDAP directory. So you can access the things like Google Cloud, Kubernetes, and Jenkins. The question you might be asking now is why should you use LDAP when SSO is so much more convenient? Most SSO systems are using LDAP. LDAP was not designed natively to work with web applications. And some systems only support integration with LDAP and not SSO. Google Cloud Directory Sync, or GCDS, enables administrators to synchronize users, groups, and other data from an Active Directory or LDAP service to their managed service for Microsoft Active Directory within Google.